reaching really close to 30,000 subscribers. So go and subscribe. Yes, you know you want to do it. Subscribe. Just do it. It helps out a lot, guys, and I would really appreciate it. And while you're down there, maybe hit the like button if you want to. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video. Before we start today's video, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry about the lack of interaction with my audience lately and on the, the comment section and the lack of streams. I've been really busy with real life stuff. I, <laughs> It's actually been kind of fun. I've been doing a lot of outside thingies. So yeah, you know, getting away from the computer and just getting out in nature is kind of fun. But... I just want to let you guys know I'm going to really try and beef it up. I'm going to try and talk to you guys more in the comments. I am going to try and do more streams. Now, the main reason why I haven't actually done any streams is I've had, uh, if you guys don't know, South Africa has an uh, electricity crisis. So there's really lack of electricity. They call it load shedding. And I've just, it's always the time I usually start my streams. And I don't want to start earlier because then a lot of people can't rock up. So that's why I haven't really been streaming, but I will definitely try and get that going. I am saving up for a battery that will run my computer and my internet much longer. So maybe we can try and get to that goal. But right now I have a new base that I want to show you guys. And this is something I've been working on today. I quite like it. I think it's something you guys might enjoy. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I've used these weird things here and this kind of makes the zombies quite confused in many ways. I'll show you what this block is called. Let me just get the name for it quickly. So this block here is called, uh, oh, I'll have to go and find it. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, so it's called a pipe thin uh, corner up, right? Or you can use either of the two. They're both the same. You just click on that. And basically what you do is, I've done a little demonstration here as well. Now you must be careful because you, you can't put them in a straight line because if you do that then they can literally just run straight across. You kind of have to mix it up so you would have to place one like that, one like that, then go that way uh, and then you know one like that then go that way because if you put them like I said all in a straight line then they can just run straight across something like this you can see and that's not going to help but let me show you quickly a little demonstration. Now, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but I, I did wanted to show you guys this just to kind of get a, a better idea. Maybe you guys get take take some ideas from this. But as you can see, they really do struggle. Sometimes you can see he made it across. Uh, so you kind of just have to mix it up and be kind of random with it. But yeah, this is just my, my test of a base. They do hit on that ramp there, but that's okay. Uh, you can see they get quite confused. If you stand like right here, then they try and make their way through. There you go. Just like that. So yeah, that's my little demonstration. This one, uh, I then have taken a proper base and I'm trying to make it work. And I've made like uh, three sides that they can come across. Works a lot better. Uh, another thing, I've also made this base float. Uh, a lot of you guys are going to ask me how I've done this. And I'm going to quickly show you. You need to take a, a plate, right? Just like this. And as you can see, a plate has a full block size, right? Which means things can hang on to it, right? So what I've done is basically this, right? So I've placed the plate, then I've turned the plate around, and I've placed the plate like that, right? So that acts as a structural integrity. That's why that base is kind of floating. So yes, it's a, it's a floaty base, but it's it's cool, okay? It's cool, don't worry. So that's how that thing is floating, just to keep you safe at night. Another thing I've done is I push these walls like way back. This is to kind of stop them from falling and then hitting on the walls. It works. But not so much here because they are still hitting on this section here. It's not really a bad thing if they do hit on the sides. It's, it doesn't really affect you in the base. So that's what I'm kind of going for here. As long as you're safe in your base on the top, then them hitting on sides and what, it just really doesn't help them too much. They were hitting on this ramp as well as you can see. But if they broke these two ramps, then they've got those two sides. Thing. These spikes absolutely do nothing, so don't even bother with them. <laughs> I added them. Uh, and then, yeah, so I made ways for the zombies to come out on this side, this side, and this side. I don't want them to fall and then they get stuck, so. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to run a horde night. I'm not going to do the full thing. It's going to basically be a test. I'll show you guys here. Okay, horde night's about to start, and we're just going to give it a test for the horde night. Now, my game is a bit broken. I don't know why, but I'm supposed to have 60-something zombies. You guys know the drill. And they just do not want to do it. So you can see they fall. Because this is so random... Um, they do struggle a little bit, and then for some reason they're jumping towards this wall. You'll see, they, they hardly... 
Yeah, so this is what, see what I mean? They just jump towards that wall. I, I don't understand why they're doing that. It's possible that... Yeah, it's possible that that's just not connected. It's actually... Yeah, let me see if I can... That's probably why they're trying to do that. If I can add a, another one going that way, that might change their pathing quite a bit. There you go. Oh, look, the spikes are actually doing something! Yay! <laughs> But you can see, look, yeah, the zombies are very confused. They actually are hitting on um, the sides, bottom there sometimes. You can see, now that I've added that block, they get very confused. But let them do that, it's fine. One or two zombies. You need some action, right? There you go. You get, you get the idea. I mean, you get the idea. This is kind of how it's supposed to work. And that's what I kind of wanted to show you guys. Ow! Sneaky little boy! Yes, try and get me, you zombies. That ain't happening. Now what I can do is... Uh, excuse me. You were interrupting. I'm gonna try and break that. And see what actually happens. Hi? Make yourself at home. Yeah, so it's actually better to have it like that. Because you can see that they try and do a jump to try and get to me over there for some reason. You can see, that's probably better. It's very random though. It's not supposed to... I don't know. It's weird. And they're hitting down below as well on that uh, on that ramp. But let them do that. It doesn't really affect you. They can do that all they like. This block here, they might break eventually. But yeah, I I, I really like the way the space kind of runs. I mean, it's interesting. Maybe you guys can uh, adapt it and take it and try and change it however you like. Maybe there's something you guys can come up with that's better. You know what I even thought of doing? Is making a field of these dang things. So just like a massive field. And then having them on like poles or something and let the zombies try and jump across all Wow, wow, wow. Interruptions. I think that might be quite kind of cool, you know? Oh, in my last video, I said to myself, I didn't know what uh, the, the steel axe, what to perk up into the steel axe was. It's actually, uh, I think it's mother load or something like that. Let's just see quickly. Uh, it, no, so that's... Yeah, I don't think it is actually because that's hard. It's 20% more for more ore. I don't know how to actually perk up into the battle axe or the, the axe basically. I had a, a comment on my other video saying that uh, this steel axe is not meant for fighting zombies. And I do not think he is right <laughs> at all. So if you take like a, like a steel sledge, you can see that the steel sledge does 62 damage, right? And then this thing does 48. This thing's definitely meant to fight. There's just no way, and I think this thing's actually better because it does so much. Uh, it's like less stamina, I think. What's the stamina cost on this thing? Stamina cost is 30, and stamina cost is 40. Yeah, so this is definitely better. I am hearing breaking. Yes, yeah, so they are breaking. Yeah, they see they've broken things over there as well. But again, it, it doesn't really help them in any way. Let them break as much as they like. Because if they get through, if they break that, so what? Break it, zombies. He's so confused. <laughs> and if I just pause the zombies for a second, let's just go underneath here. You can see that this one's trying to hit here. So yeah, just because they can't really get to me too much, that's why they're hitting on things. It's not really underneath me too much, which is kind of a good thing. I, I guess you don't want them to break these blocks here, because then your base will fall down. But uh, yeah, it's going great, guys. Do you guys like this base so far? like the idea it's so difficult to come up with like unique ideas nowadays and it's easier for you guys because you guys can just watch a bunch of youtube videos me as a content creator i have to kind of come up with some some like new things for you guys to see and i try very 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 hard not to copy other creators that's why i don't really watch any other content creators because i i really want to be unique and i want to show you guys something new so something you guys see here is, is definitely just I just was sitting around and oh no that just fell down I was just sitting around and hoping I would come up with something that's bad by the way guys because now they can't get to me I didn't realize that was holding up all that hi welcome you know what it's not too bad because they still can't get me look at that I've just shown you two bases in one guys look at that <laughs> come okay if they hit that that's bad yeah, that's very bad. Let's see if I can... Wow! You zombies are getting too smart for your own good. 
Right, let me just pause that for a second. Let's see if I can quickly just make a, a shwammy damn path here quickly. That's what I call it. Just a quick, a quick path. Come on. Place, 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 and then place. Let's see if that's going to work a little bit better. Let's see if they path a little bit not nicer. Come on. Yeah, yeah, go. That's much better, zombie. Isn't that better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, so the idea works just fine. I, you know what? It's probably better to actually not add ramps there. Just have them on one on one level. Probably best that way, I think. Because then it's it's going to be much more secure than that what it is currently. Gotta watch out for these zombies. Yeah, so that's the base, guys. I don't know what you guys think of that. Um, it's an okay base. It's it's more like an idea that I gave you guys. Uh, I would nice if it worked like fully, but I, I think it could use some more improvements. Uh, I do think I'm gonna make a standalone video on the floaty basis. I'm pretty sure you guys, like a lot of people, want to know how to do it. It's so easy to do it. You can do it multiple ways as well. Uh, but yeah, just to clarify, these are this little block that I've used here is a. Um, a pipe thin corner you can use the up or the down doesn't really matter and then you just place it around I mean you could probably just make like a a whole lot of them like all over the place you know <laughs> make it super hard for the zombies but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed today's video I know it was pretty short I wanted to show you guys that and thank you so much for watching and we'll check you guys in the next video if you are new you know what to do subscribe hit the like button it truly helps thanks everybody